Hi, this is Brent at Frontier Dental Laboratory. Today I'm gonna to go over uh, diagnostic designs and uh, really emphasize some key points that are very, very important as we uh, develop the smile because this will be a template to go to the finals. And so everything uh, is really set up and at the very beginning with the diagnostics. Now with, uh, with, the, uh, with the diagnostics, they start off with uh, you know, really, really good impressions because these, these, uh, this design is gonna be transferred to the mouth Accuracy is the most important thing. Now, so we've got, uh, we can either get uh, regular PBS impressions, algae impressions of the models we poured up, or we can go to uh, digital. Uh, digital is uh, you know, a, a fantastic way to be able to do that, uh, to send it to us. And keep in mind that the laboratory, as we get more and more in the digital, we are transitioning to more of a digital type of uh, workflow. You may uh, get either a diagnostic uh, wax up there, or you'll actually get like a, a, digital, a digital printout as well too. And so, uh, and, and we can talk about uh, more of that. But basically, we want to get some good uh, models. So what we'll do is we'll we have the, we'll have the impressions here. We'll mount them up, and we also have a, we also duplicate a baseline impression. So you have a baseline and a, a diagnostic design. So when you get your diagnostic back, you're going to get pr uh, pretty much all of these models here. And we also we'll start off with a, a tissue alteration form. And what we'll have is tissue alteration form. What we will do is we will actually adjust the tissue heights. Um, uh, as we see fit, up to about a one millimeter, because we don't want to uh, do more than about one millimeter. We don't want to get into biological width violations. If you want to do more, or if you don't want to do any at all, just let us know. But basically, you will find in your uh, in your case a. Uh, uh, a tissue alteration form. In this case, we didn't do any uh, uh, tissue alteration form. So, so we did the diagnostics, and we do we do all of our diagnostics based off of golden proportions. I'm a big believer in golden proportions. To me, that's the best looking smile. It uh, it just uh, time and time again, some of the best smiles I've ever seen. I put it on a golden proportion uh, uh, matrix there, and it looks absolutely perfect. And so I really believe that. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll usually go off of that, and so we'll do we'll, uh, do the design, and then um, when you're done when you get this we will provide you with uh, a couple tools one of them is uh, the, obviously the temporary matrix here the temporary matrix is based uh, off the diagnostic wax up and uh, you'll use this to transfer the diagnostic wax up to the mouth and this is usually the best aha moment of the, the whole appointment it's the first time the patient will be able to see what it looks like and so this is our uh, temporary uh, matrix here we relined it with a with a light wash and we have a heavy putty here which makes it very very uh, rigid there so it doesn't distort as you're putting it in. Now the, uh, these two devices here, uh, these two uh, uh, tools here, these are uh, not quite understood how to use this. We've got we've got uh, the, the temporary matrix, uh, excuse me, the prep matrix here, and this is more for your facial reduction. So what you'll do is you'll, as you're doing your depth cuts and you're doing your reduction, again, this is based off the the, the diagnostic design. So in order to transfer this to the mouth, we have to make sure that uh, you reduce enough of uh, the tooth structure to be able to achieve what this design is. And so what you'll do is you'll, you'll do your, your depth, cup, uh, depth cuts away from this, uh, most likely slice through the interproximals. You could be doing full crowns or veneers for wh what, whatever you need there. And then you, you'll uh, be putting this in and out of the mouth so you can see how much reduction. You want to make sure that each tooth is in their zone. There's a lot, you know, a good maybe, a good maybe uh, eight tenths to uh, one millimeter of reduction all the way across, including the interproximal. So you'd, uh, if you uh, press in that, and then, uh, and so then uh, uh, you'll be able to see that you have the proper reduction on that. This this one is the lingual matrix here. The lingual matrix is the uh, is for the incisal uh, reduction and also the interproximal reduction. Again, this is this is built off the diagnostic design. Okay, and it is meant it is meant to uh, make sure that all of the preps are kind of in their zone, so that, so that the teeth that are built to golden proportion will fit in there and. And such, and so so you after you do your reduction, you could be uh, uh, you, you put this on, and you make sure that all the preps because you might have some rotated teeth and, and teeth that are kind of out of position and everything. You want to make sure they're they're in this. So as you're as you're prepping, you're going to be looking at the lingual aspects of this uh, lingual matrix there, making sure the preps are in there. Plus, you want to make sure that uh, you have enough of the incisal reduction. Again, this is based off the incisal uh, length of the diagnostic design, and you want to make sure that you have enough reduction in order to achieve uh, the, the diagnostic uh, design, plus the amount of incisal translucency that we want to have. 
Let's put it this way. Usually, we need to have we need to have a good millimeter of, of reduction off the incisal edge to get half a millimeter of incisal translucency. If you want a millimeter of incisal translucency, we need a millimeter and a half reduction, and so on and so forth. Um, so this, these two tools are probably the most important tools that you'll have um, of all your, uh, of all the, the, the diagnostic, and you'll be using these all the time here. And of course, your temporary matrix. Now, in the case where we have um, a bite opening, let's say, for instance, that uh, on this particular case we were doing a bite opening for this case here. We're not on this case, but let's just say for the uh, for matter purposes that we are. What you will receive, we'll make you a bite matrix there. Now, if you pr provide us with a an open bite, vertical bite, or um, you know, a, a, some sort of like jig or something like that that you've used, or maybe a coastal programmer, maybe a CR bite that you've given us, we'll mount that to the CR bite, or you know, we, we can actually you know we, even sometimes we even open the bite on the articulator. What we'll do is we'll mount it, set the pin, and we'll make you a putty bite that's a full arch full arch uh, bite there. Now how you use this here is, is quite simple. And because you're going to be basically, this will be the bite that you're building to create a tripod bite. Basically what you'll be doing is you'll be prepping, start by prepping with the right side first. And once you get pretty close to be finishing the right side, you can put this back in the mouth there and then use uh, some bite material, blue mousse bite, vanilla bite, or what have you. It will stick to this because this is a polyvinyl. And you'll put this in and you'll reline that and you'll, you'll build, uh, build a bite on, on the right side. Then, you'll, then you can prep the left side and again, do the same thing. Put it back in and then flow bite material um, on, on the left side and then prep the anteriors and then, then again, put this back in and so you've built yourself a tripod bite that when we get the case, a prepped case, we will have it at the right vertical, at the same vertical that we did on the bite opening of the case there. And uh, it, it's actually uh, quite simple to do and um, it's very, very predictable and, and a good way so you don't lose a vertical if you're gonna be prepping all the teeth at, uh, at one time. So this is the, 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 we call it the horseshoe putty bite and uh, we, will, we, we will give this to you on every case when there's gonna be a bite opening for you. Um, with that, uh, you know, any questions at all, you can ask uh, the smile designers uh, who you're assigned to, and we want to make this process as, as simple and uh, pleasant as possible. This is obviously the hardest point, but this is a very, very gratifying appointment for when the patient sees uh, their new smile. So uh, uh, any questions, please let us know. Thank you.